Happy Fitness Friday. This is Chris Yarrington coming to you with another Strength First Fitness Fitness Friday. I'm super excited because today we're going to talk about rest intervals. Um, there's two big ones that I'm going to talk about right now because rest interval, what it can do is it can impact your ability to um, build muscle um, in the way that you want. So there's if you are to go with a shorter rest period, you're working more on endurance or lean muscle. And if you're giving yourself more rest time, you're actually working on hypertrophy or building more bulk to your muscle. Um, and it's extremely important that since we're working out at home, we may not have access to a ton of heavy weights, um, that we're at least not limiting ourselves by the amount of rest that we're giving ourselves. So. If we're looking for a, a really big impactful endurance um, to our muscle, we're gonna have around 20 seconds to 30 seconds of rest um, to really challenge your muscle because what happens is the body uses energy and creates energy in the recovery phase. Um, so every time you're making a motion, every time you're lifting a weight, you're utilizing the energy that's stored in your muscles. Um, the other thing is you're also contracting and elongating your muscles. So there are a few factors that come into play when it comes to rest time. When you're resting for a short period of time, you're forcing the muscles to have to fire with less energy in them That from that recovery phase, you haven't fully replenished the entire energy level. And so it forces them to feel be in this little slightly fatigued and depleted phase. So with working on the muscle continuing to contract, even though it's tired ultimately. And because of this, it can't really, you know, recruit a lot more and use a lot more of the muscle fibers. So then what's gonna happen is you're not going to be working on building more and more of those muscle fibers bigger by tearing a lot of them. You're gonna be focused on just that little section that's continuously working and that's how you get leaner muscle. And also you're thinking about contractions and extensions you're contracting it, and then when it's resting, it's, it's releasing and extending again, and then it contracts every time you do the work. Boom, right? But it takes time for it to fully extend, so you're never really allowing it to fully extend and fully recover when you're working with a shorter rest period. If you're working with a longer rest period, what's gonna happen is you're gonna recruit um, more muscle fibers, you're gonna have more time for the muscle to extend back to its normal length, and then you're also gonna have more energy that's being poured back in from the blood circulating into that muscle. So we're getting a good amount of rest and recovery, and that time is gonna be around a minute to two minutes, it, depending on how intense you're going, like one rep max, you might even go up to five minutes of rest to ensure that you are fully utilizing every single piece of that muscle and that muscle fiber. So it's really important that you're thinking about the rest time and what your ultimate goal is. So if we're looking at reps, we're looking three to one. Those reps, three reps down to one rep, we're looking at you know around five minutes, four minutes for you to rest. If we're sitting between you know five to eight, then you're sitting in that time of about two minutes of rest because that's when you're really challenging those muscles to start that muscle growth, that bulking growth. Um, as soon as we get to around 10 reps and above, 10 to 12 and then up to 20, that's when we're gonna start having less rest, a minute, 30 seconds, 20 seconds even. Um, and that's all, as soon as we hit 10, we're looking more towards lean muscle and we're looking less towards bulk muscle. Um, now obviously the weight is gonna play a little bit of a role there too. But like I said, because you're working out at home, the thing that we can really control is gonna be your rest time. The other thing that we can do if we're looking to get a little bit more of hypertrophy and building a lot of muscle um, in, in bulk, it would be more power motions. So it's gonna be explosive motions. But as soon as we start to get explosive with weight, We've got to make sure we're giving yourself more rest time so that we can properly recruit the amount of muscle that we need. All right, so it's very important to know that as soon, if you go completely unweighted and you're working more on cardio explosive uh, movements, that's great. 
But as soon as we start adding weight and we're starting to lift and be aggressive and powerful, those power movements, now we're really trying to build a lot of bulk muscle. You're gonna have to increase the amount of rest up to that three, four, five minute mark so that you can properly start to increase the amount of, bu the amount of bulk to your muscle. Um, hopefully this is all making sense and helpful. If you have any questions, really do not hesitate to comment below. I'd love to walk you through it and help you understand a little bit better. Um, but you know, the general idea is, like I said, 10 and above, you're looking at about 30 seconds of rest. When you get down to eight to five, that's when you're looking at around two minutes of rest. And then um, when you get down below five reps, you're looking at about, you know, four, three, five minutes of rest. Um, so use that guideline. Think about what you're trying to do, build bulk or build lean. Um, and hopefully this helps. All right. Have an amazing weekend and I'll see you for um, the Mindful Mondays. All right. Bye for now.